Mae Polly Edwy um, ac dwi'n wedi bod gweithio ar y prosiect um, HARP. Hello, I'm Polly and I'm one of the artists that's been working on the HARP project um, with Artscare Gorfod Celf. It's been an amazing process, journey, project to be involved in. It was genuinely satisfying. I've come away from it feeling a real deep sense of having done something genuinely worthwhile within the community. And what I wanted you to do was to read what you've been doing over the the 20 week period really. Part one, healthy is knowing you're in or at least have a safe space. Healthy is knowing you have support to enable you to live your life. Healthy is being free to see others who have your best interests at heart. Healthy is being free to pursue interests and hobbies. Healthy is being free to make your own choices. Healthy is being free of a toxic, abusive relationship. Part two. Healthy is about a balanced diet. Healthy is about taking the recommended daily exercise. Healthy is not using drugs or drinking to excess. Healthy is taking time to relax. Healthy is about getting the recommended amount of sleep. I feel Masto's theory of hierarchy of needs is incorrect. If you don't have all in part one, it can be hard for you to achieve all of part two. In fact, often they will be the things taken from you so that you remain compliant. I feel the hierarchy of needs starts with safety. And from there, people can flourish and grow and climb that elusive pyramid. My name's Tina Ashdown. I'm one of five artists working on the Heart Project, which is a 20-week project. Um, it's quite a long project, um, and I wasn't sure that I wanted to even do it because two years of not leading workshops sort of took their toll. And so at this point, I'd like to thank the support of Artscare, Govilk Health, uh, who were amazing. Um, the workshops were quite challenging. Um, there were really good high points where the participants, some of the participants would um, just take hold of the project and and go for it and carry on afterwards. It, 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 very magical. Hi, so I've just finished um, the workshop in Morelice Ward doing Tetra Intaglio printmaking and I thought I'd um, just do a little video just to tell you how it went. It was just the, we did it in the communal room. Um, loads of staff joined in and uh, patients and people were popping in to see what it was like. And uh, we did a kind of collaborative bit at the end, all inspired by um, the participants and doing houses. And then we laid them all of the way along and I cut an extra pe long piece of paper to do it. And I had a feeling that that might, um, be the case um, so I bought some extra large pieces of paper as well so we've got loads and loads of prints um, and they're really really top quality I have to say um, and then Alex has asked me because I've got a bigger printing press at home he's asked me if I'd do an even longer kind of street scene so I'm going to try and do that over the next couple of days and then give them a copy and we'll have a copy as well um, really good engagement Hi, I'm Lloyd Roberts, a uh, graffiti artist. It's been a really enjoyable and challenging project to be involved with. Um, and varying 
wildly from week to week. I mean, that's, I guess that's the thing with mental health particularly, isn't it? Is that um, one week we might have a session and someone might be really engaged and thoroughly enjoying the project. And and then I go the following week expecting to have sort of a, a, a similar level of engagement and, and something's occurred or something's happened or or they're not coping as well and, and they don't want, they might not engage in the project. They might not want to get out of bed that day. I suppose like, that's one thing I found really tough was the fact that I'd, I'd come in, we'd have an enjoyable session at perhaps, say, uh, a secure mental health unit. And then I, at the end of the session, get to leave, go home, um, carry on with life. And then I go back a week later and they've been there the whole time, you know. And the staff, the staff at these places have been, have been amazing and also thoroughly engaged on the project, which has been a real bonus. The most magic moments that I can think of as part of the project really were just seeing the, the transformation in people's confidence levels. Um, one participant in particular who I worked with at the Lynx group started off as being a shy, totally introverted wallflower who could barely even make eye contact with me. Um, and by the end of the weeks, she was communicative, she was funny, she was showing me her artistic and creative skills that were great. She had connected really, really profoundly with other members of the group as well. It's been, it was a hard road, I have to say. It was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, but it was a really great challenge to be involved in and I feel like we've all got a connection um, we've come out of the Heart Project all feeling a great bond to one another um, and having a, a special connection um, and I think we all experienced some really amazing times and some really quite um, upsetting times and emotional um, and it has been hard work I have to say it has been hard work but not without its rewards. Every time I come in, there's a, there's a huge amount of magic there, and I, it's not around always positive and saccharine sort of things. It's, it's about what everyone's just spoke about, about having a voice and being able to share, and that's, uh, that's the magic for me. think about what good or bad changes doesn't it can be either really what good or bad changes have come about as a result of your involvement in in the right option project really so jane would you, you Me, jane. To, yeah would you okay to start the ball on that yeah what? um very much so actually i because i think particularly with this last project which was uh because it was 20 weeks i felt that in a way it was a similar sort of time to something like um, a university course um, so that people could take on a large project if they wanted. So I was kind of encouraging people to think about novels or books of poems or several short stories and that sort of thing. And I, I just can't, I mean, sorry, I'm just, people, everybody rose to the occasion. And in terms of change, I felt that for me, um, I, I, t I, t I felt like I took a risk with it because it's an awfully large thing for people to get their heads around, basically. And you know what? It paid off. And I, I'm, I'm just blown away by it, to be honest with you. That's certainly the experience I've had from this. And I just, it's mind blowing. So mm. that's my, that's my change. And I joined this during COVID because I needed the distraction and I, I was feeling quite unwell at the time as well. Um, and we started off writing poetry and I did a lot of poetry about my identity um, and I split my identity into several different parts and I actually ended up using that in a therapy session, uh, well several therapy sessions to sort of talk about me and, and where I was at and, and what I was about. So that was really useful. 
and I've met loads of new friends as well. So I think there's been so many things that have changed, really. I'm not sure whether my recovery has been driven by my writing or my writing has improved with my recovery. I think it's a bit of both. When I started with Jane, I hadn't written for many years because of the voices and because of the rapid thoughts. I couldn't, I didn't have the cognitive skills to write. And then I plucked up the courage to go to one of Jane's writing groups. And it really took a lot of courage to go. And I thought I'm not gonna be able to write anything good. And immediately I was given confidence by the group. And I've gone from not being able to string two sentences together to putting together a 10,000 word book and proposal that I think is acceptable to be published, you mm. know? And I think that's amazing. And I, I wouldn't underestimate how much these writing groups have helped me over the time they've just given built my confidence has built and built and of course other things in my life have happened as well i'm not saying it's just the writing but the writing was so important to me so key to my soul to be able to write something that people want to read and and that that has come through this group through autumn air robin sings a song more reflective it dwells over browning land where leaves start to wither in nature's own hand. Wind-blown apples fall to land where they belong, and swallows passage south to keep days long, whilst the squirrel gathers all it can, thinking forward to winter's frozen hand. Autumn breathes fresh but cool, farewell summer so long, and as growth slows, earth's green rests before snow. Seeds settle as nature's dormant kindle, a reassurance as nature turns now, preserved, measured by the leaves that dwindle. And as she rests, she takes a vivid bow and red leaves are fashioned on the spindle. Other magic moments came in the form of, of people being able to really open up. Um, and, you know, there were some people going through some really, really tough times. I would say some people in the wards were going through crisis, you know, were in actual crisis states. Um, so being able to have these moments where they were just able to focus on something completely outside of themselves, in the moment, in the room, not in their own minds, was incredibly beneficial. Um, and watching people kind of go from, from crisis to calm and then from calm to coming back to a place of normal engagement over the weeks was amazing to see, you know, the power that art has. It's, it's tangible and it's definite and it's real. And, you know, to be able to share that with people was quite a privilege, really. I've learned a hell of a lot about um, about people, about mental health, about psychosis, about myself um, and how I deal with things. The work itself had a degree of depth and benefit and wasn't just, you know, something beautiful. And not that I'm belittling that particularly, but just that there was another level of depth to it. Um, yeah, all in all, it's been a brilliant project, privileged to work on it. Um, and I, without a shadow of a doubt, saw the humongous benefits to people's well-being and mental health. Well done, Arts Care. New Year brings change as the old year dies out. Our journey begins. No fear and no doubt. Birthing pains of spring bring forth the summer. Long, lusty days bright, hot and heavy night. The autumn shadows mysterious as we drift into the night. And now the solstice has been and gone. And drawing out the light, the hope of things that are to come will get us through the night.